Hi, my name is Marcellus King with Marcellus King Photography. And this is a real quick rundown of a new device that I got in, a video uh, LED light. And this one is called the uh, Z96. Um, the reason, about, reason being is that it has 96 LEDs in there. And I want to kind of give a quick uh, rundown of its features. I know there are some more uh, fully featured reviews, but I want to kind of give a quick rundown to, you know, kind of show uh, what's, what you get in the box and then uh, how well this thing works. So uh, here we have the light itself. Uh, we do have the little uh, piece attached so you can attach it into the hot shoe. As you can tell, I've already been using it and I'll show some of the uh, video footage that I've been using uh, earlier. But it is a very solid, very well built device. You can also take multiple uh, Z96s and join them into a larger, uh, as a larger panel. So if you need it like a lot more light, uh, you can do that. So you can also join even, you know, smaller amounts, like just two or three, and even have those uh, all in a hot shoe. So again, it's a really good uh, build. Um, you can also attach filters. It comes with a warming filter, which attaches just by magnet. And you also have the diffuser, which also you know, works the same way. And you can also attach both filters at the same time. So makes it pretty handy. Uh, they're really not going to fall off. You can you know, <laughs> you could jump off a building probably and these things wouldn't disattach. Well, they probably would then, but that'd be like the last of your worries. So uh, to kind of look at the back, um, you do have space for an external battery. Uh, you can also um, use internal batteries if you prefer to do so. As you can see, this thing takes up, uh, uses uh, five uh, AA batteries. Uh, as far as how quickly it goes through them, I really haven't had a chance to figure that out yet. So, um, Maybe you could probably leave a few questions in the comments, and I'm quite sure that by then I will have gone through a set of batteries. And then you also do have the option of a DC input. Uh, the package does not come with a DC input, so that's something that you're going to have to buy uh, separately. So um, I'll take that into consideration, and I'll also see how well it works with uh, external batteries as well. And then you also have the uh, dimmer switch, um, the power slash dimmer switch, which you can turn this thing on and... Um, you know, vary the power that it is outputting. So first, I'm kind of demonstrate here. Um, we'll go ahead and turn it on. Uh, right now, this is at its lowest setting. It's really not going to light up too much. Um, really not much that you're going to do unless you're going to do some, you know, interesting projects. But once you turn the volume, once you turn this uh, dial all the way up, this thing gets significantly brighter. And it may not seem like it on the uh, camera, but when you're looking at this thing face to face, it is very, very bright. Uh, I'm quite sure my pupils are dilating uh, a lot right now. And um, at this point, now that I've got it, that I have a face in forward again, I really can't even see the camera. I just see like 96 little LEDs. So uh, it is insanely powerful. It's more than enough, really, um, for lighting up a single person if you're doing an interview, for those of you guys who are worried about that. And I'm also going to show you some examples of uh, what this light does. In complete darkness. So actually, I did a few last night, and I may rec I may use that footage or just uh, record it again. So uh, to kind of show what it looks like with the filters, uh, first I'll go ahead and slap on uh, the diffusing filter. And I know it really doesn't make it doesn't really show off too much on the camera itself unless you're actually looking at something you know that's being hit with diffused light. But looking directly at it, it really isn't going to show you much. But you know, maybe some of you guys will be able to see. Uh, a little bit more of that, you know, softness. And then you will definitely see um, when the warming filter goes on of just how much it changes that light. And when you're looking at whatever you have uh, lit up, that light is going to be, um, it's going to change the lighting drastically. So it may not seem like much when you're looking at it on here, but it does change. Um, so that if you need to mimic uh, tungsten, you know, lighting, if you didn't uh, need your 56K, then you can do that. And um, I'll have to check and see if there's any other filters, especially the magnetic ones that you can slap on here that may have different colors, maybe like a blue filter or something like that for some other cool special effects. So, But let me go ahead and show you uh, what the video looks like, uh, what the footage looks like when we're uh, using the light. So stay tuned. Here's, you know, right now I have just a regular uh, fluorescent uh, lighting here in the room. So you can see all my regular lights are, you know, turned off. You can kind of see my little makeshift uh, studio. So what I want to do at this point is go ahead and turn uh, my regular lights off. 
And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my uh, LED. So I'm going to first turn it on to its lowest setting, uh, which is, you know, which is what it's at right now. So you can see it's, you know, not too uh, bright. But, you know, what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn it up to its max. And this is where we're at. You can see the camera actually had to make a, a slight adjustment in order to, you know, handle that. So it does really put out uh, some really impressive uh, light. I am absolutely amazed at uh, what this thing can do. Uh, has actually exceeded my expectations. So I just kind of wanted to get a good uh, look at something. But what we want to do here as well is, you know, kind of, um, I want to go ahead and get some some filters on here to kind of demonstrate you know how those look as well so what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw the uh, diffusing filter on and kind of give you an idea of how that's going to look so you have some slightly softer uh, light may not be uh, too hard to notice maybe the best way is by looking at the shadows so I'm going to go ahead and take it off here and uh, see if those shadows are just a little bit harsher uh, with that diffused light I might even uh, go ahead and see if I can focus on those a little bit better. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the diffuser uh, back on. Oops. So you can see there's the difference in uh, lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and take this diffuser off, and it's kind of hard to handle this whole rig with one hand while you're <laughs> messing with filters. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the warming filter. And you can see there's a definitely a drastic uh, change. Definitely has that, you know, tungsten, you know, lighting look. So, you know, if you want to, you know, shoot something, kind of get like a little bit of a warmer uh, look to it, you can easily uh, slap on this filter and, you know, see. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw on uh, the other filter on top of that to kind of give you the combined, um, combined effect look there. So. That's what it looks like uh, with both filters attached and with the um, uh, the LED light turned up to uh, the max. So like I said, I'm very impressed with this light. Um, it'll be more than enough for what I need uh, for on location lighting. I also do have um, two rechargeable batteries uh, for this thing, which is going to come in very handy. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in here and then get like a little bit of focus you know, across the room here so you can kind of get a good idea of just how well this thing can throw some light. So like I said, it's very impressive. Um, I'm definitely loving this thing and this is going to be one of my new, you know, unexpectedly favorite toys. So I hope this um, provides you guys with enough information. Um, if in case you were considering this for... Um, making your considering this for your own lighting equipment again like I said I don't have didn't have a chance to get uh, more of these for you know budget but um, I definitely do plan on getting some more in the future to add even more light uh, to this rig so so this is a very very uh, wonderful light I was pleasantly surprised uh, by the quality of this light and how much light it's able to put out uh, this will be perfect for doing interviews and you know, night conditions or even adding a little bit of um, fill light to, you know, day conditions when doing an interview. So, um, and also too, if you've noticed that there's a little bit of veneting on the side, the reason for that is because I'm now using uh, my 1740 uh, lens, whereas before I had the 2470. So if you are using a wide angle lens, that would be something to uh, take into consideration uh, in case that might've been a factor. But again, it's a wonderful light. I definitely recommend it to anybody who's looking to pick up an LED light, especially for the price. You can find these for under $100. And you can also join these up with uh, different lights, uh, or you can add more lights to those to get an even bigger uh, light source. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I'm looking to use this for interviews, and I hope you guys get a good benefit out of this as well. So thank you again, and this is Marcellus with Marcellus King Photography. Peace.